Well, this is, in many ways, a new labor movement. I think we're seeing the labor movement being reborn for the 21st century through fast food workers, but especially through Walmart workers who are taking courageous actions across the country against the country's and world's largest private employer, which sets the standards for our economy in terms of low-wage work, part-time work, encouraging their employees to seek out government benefits. It costs one store $900,000 in taxpayer money in terms of the government benefits that Walmart is encouraging its workers to take on instead of paying them a living wage. So, Bob, you've written a lot about the working poor over your career. Take, <laughs> take that point, Dorian's observation that there is a public sector hidden support for these low wages, right? Oh, I think, I, I think big time, and most especially uh, since the Great Recession and its aftermath. I mean, more and more people are falling into that category, and more and more people who are still in the middle class are very insecure in the middle class. So, they're, you know, they, and, and they also see their um, uh, children who are taking low-wage jobs, working into, under terrible conditions. So I think that there's tremendous public support uh, for, for what's been going on. And if I, if I could just add about Walmart, Demos has a study that's showing that Walmart, Walmart last year spent $7.6 billion dollars uh, for stock buyback, which is basically a way of enriching the Walmart family, which is already the richest family in, in the world. And the point of this story, the uh, study was that if that money had been used, for example, for uh, worker salaries, mm -hmm. it would have been able to increase salaries by as much as, six, as almost $6 an hour. It would have brought uh, a full-time Walmart worker up to a $25,000 a year uh, wage, which is not a great living, but it's a lot better than, than what's been going on right now. And, to, and to the point I was discussing with with Tiffany and Sally I want to get your thoughts on this um, that can be a big change for people who are living at the margins or who are working full-time uh, and still need public assistance and one study showed that actually when you look at the CEO to worker ratio it is actually 1,200 times the income of the average Walmart associate. I mean, and that's just, you know, look, you, once upon a time it was 30 times, right? The average CEO made 30 times more than the average worker. The national average is about 300 right now. So 1,200 is way out of scale. And it is the world's and the nation's largest employer. You know, there's a Walmart store in Ohio where the managers actually put out boxes soliciting donations for food for Walmart associates who don't have enough to eat for the holidays. This is a travesty. In this country, a good day's work, a hard day's work should receive a fair day's pay. And we need to talk about the cost, the true cost of low prices at Walmart that they're putting on taxpayers. We're subsidizing those profits to keep those Walmart workers from going from going hungry and starving on the streets. Yeah, so it's, it's a shame. 